In this video, I wanna show you guys how to get your S-Log2 footage looking really good. And the way that we do that is first to convert it to a baseline of Rec. 709, and from there we can grade it however we want. We're gonna do that in DaVinci Resolve today, so let's take a look. Now in Resolve, I've already imported a couple of clips for demonstration purposes. As you can see, we've got four different clips we're gonna be using here. Now, if you wanna set up your space in Resolve the same way that I have, and I recommend doing this, is you go into the bottom right corner, you hit this gear icon, and you're gonna to go to your color management tab. You're gonna select your timeline color space to scene, and then you'd hit save. All right, now from there, we're gonna go into our color space, and let's go to our first clip. Go to OpenFX in the top right hand corner. As you can see, I've already searched for it. Color Space Transform. We're going to drag and drop that on. That's going to open the Color Space Transform tab. For Input Color Space, we're going to scroll down until we find S, Sony S Gamut, which is what S Log is shot in. And then for Input Gamma, we're going to look for S Log 2. There it is right over there. And immediately you can see the difference in our footage. Now you can leave your output color space and your output gamma untouched if you followed my instructions earlier and set your timeline color space to Rec. 709. Uh, if you haven't done that, you're just gonna come to Use Timeline and you can select Rec. 709 here from your output color space and your output gamma. You can change that to Rec. 709 as well. We don't need to do that over here because uh, everything had been set up in advance. As you can see, a lot of color and contrast has been brought back into that flat S-Log image. And we're just gonna copy and paste those settings across to all of our other clips. And as you can see, I mean, they look really good already. Check that out. So we're gonna go, that's before, that's after. Let's go to this one, before and after, before and after before and after. Here you can see we've still got a little bit of overexposure happening on the side of my face. So what we can do is we can add a node by hitting uh, Alt S or Command S, I think it is on a Mac. Um, and then I'm just gonna make these little adjustments here. And as you can see, it's coming down. These blown out areas on my face are coming down a little bit and then add a little bit more contrast. Um, so we go before that node and after that node, you can see we don't have any real hot spots on my face. So that's as simple as it is. To do a recap, you're gonna import your footage into Resolve. You're gonna make sure that your color management and your timeline color space are set to Rec. 709. You're gonna come into the color tab, go across to OpenFX, take your color space transform and you're gonna drop it onto the node with your clip in it. Once it's on there, in your input color space, you're gonna set it to Sony S Gamut and your input gamma is gonna be Sony S Log. You don't need to touch your output color space or your output gamma if you have set up your color management the way that I recommended. If you haven't done that, then you're gonna change your output color space and output gamma to Rec. 709. Now this forms the baseline and is a fantastic place to start because all of your S Log footage is now in Rec. 709 and you can start creating from there. Let me know in the comments down below what your workflow is when you're dealing with S Log 2 or if there are any other topics that you like me to cover. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, I'd appreciate a like and a subscribe as it really helps this channel grow. I'll catch you guys in the next one.